Thomas Bartke here with GodForCloser.com, and I'm excited this evening to be able to bring you Jeff Adams, who will be joining us in just a little bit here. Jeff's new foreclosure profit system and blueprint is brand new, hot information that relates to today's market of foreclosures and bank-owned properties being pretty much the only game in real estate. And Jeff is speaking with authority like no one else can claim in the foreclosure business today because he is actually doing deals and working in the trenches right this minute. So without further ado, here is on GodForeclosure.com, Mr. Jeff Adams. Okay, I'm really excited to be on the call tonight. Let's go ahead and get started. I started out in 1995 as a struggling firefighter making $40,000 a year with over $50,000 in credit card debt. I was using my Visa to pay my MasterCard bill, my Mass card to pay my American Express bill, my American Express card to pay my Visa bill. I'm sure you can relate to this. I'm sure a lot of you listening on the call might can relate to this. I tried all different ways to make my no success. You name it, I tried it. Then one night on this late night infomercial, I saw this guy by the name of Carlton Cheats, the Binance course, and I thought to myself, you know what? I'll go out, buy a bunch of rental properties, and generate some positive cash. And that's exactly what I did. However, within six months, I soon realized something. And what I realized is that all of my renters went to the Jerry Springer School of Tenant Training. So I soon got out of real estate. Then one day, about six months later, a friend of mine that was a painter, he called me up, and he told me that this investor he worked for would sell me a house in California for $42,000. I told him, you know what, I want nothing to do with real estate. He said, no, listen, Jeff, you can buy this house, fix it up, and resell it for a profit. So at this point, I was ready to try anything or file for bankruptcy. So he gave me the address of the property. I drove out to it as a three-bedroom, one-bath house in a decent neighborhood. I contacted three real estate agents from in front of the property, and they all told me this house was worth between seventy-five and $80,000. So I drove home immediately. I contacted this investor, and he told me something very interesting. He said he was a wholesaler, and he wholesaled five to ten properties a month to other investors. He said he had 100% finance. He lined up with a hard-money lender. And he said he had this property tied up for $38,000. I needed to give him $4,000 if he would assign this deal to me. So I drove to my bank, I took two cash advances, and now I was $54,000 in debt. Now, the day I closed on this property, folks, I had my hands full because I had absolutely no idea how to rehab a property. So I immediately enrolled in Home Depot University. As a matter of fact, I think I earned my Ph.D. from Home Depot University. I went there every single day for three months to learn how to do all the basic home improvements, basic plumbing, electrical, carpentry, and I fixed up this property, and I sold it. And nine days later for a profit of $12,000. Folks, I'll never forget that first deal over 14 years ago. 6747 Sepulveda Avenue in San Bernardino, California. When I'm in front of this property, I kiss the sidewalk in front of this property for all the wealth he created for me by introducing me to the power of real estate investing. And I want everybody to call night to write this down. Buying and selling bank-owned properties Buying and selling bank-owned properties is the fastest way to financial freedom. 